Yeah, the ink is in Peru. Oh, sorry, we're here with Falls TV with Lisa Mitchell catching up on uh, all that's good in world news. In other news, Lisa, this is uh, your very first festival experience in Australia, is that right? It's right, Claire. So right that it's wrong, I'd hope not. How are you finding it? How are you finding the festivals, the Australian summer festivals, compared to the ones you've done in the UK? Australian summer festivals, well, I mean, look, I, we've had a very, very quick, like, in and out kind of um, week. So we've went to Woodford for like a couple of hours. Actually, we stayed over there, so it was more than a couple of hours. But then we went to um, New Zealand yesterday, and we we're kind of in and out of there. And then we've been here for like two hours. So this is your experience. So this is Falls' chance to show Lisa a good time. But you love it so much already that you're coming back tomorrow after Tasmania. Is that right? I know, I know I'm going to be back. We're coming back um, for New Year's Eve to party on. Just to party, party hard. Excellent. I was thinking as well, as someone who's done a lot of touring and you've done a lot of shows, how then do you, like, is it a very different vibe on stage uh, when you're doing a festival show as opposed to doing your own headlining show or a show in a pub? Definitely, yeah, it's very different. Um, I think, uh, I mean, the, the crowds at festivals, I think they're already so excited that, um, you know, they, they just kind of cotton on to anything you do that's ex exciting. So I think um, it's, it's more about just having fun and really um, being quite extroverted with your, um, with your, with your show and, and people really get into it a lot. Have you had a lot of stuff thrown at you? Thrown at me? We had a lot of throwing today, didn't we? The crowd here seems to like to throw stuff. They throw stuff and it scares me a bit because once in Ballarat I got hits in the eyeball with a dollar coin. And so now when people throw dollar coins, you know, in, in coin yeah. laundry, I'm a bit like... Oh. She doesn't really want a dollar. I'm sure she gets paid enough for doing these shows. A dollar's not going to make that much of a difference. But it's, you know, it's kind of like, thanks very much for the money, but um, <laughs> it's really quite a weapon. You know, it's like you're throwing a missile at me. So, you know, it's scary. And Lisa Mitchell, how many proposals of marriage have you had thus far? <laughs> Why is that even a question, Claire? Because uh, we were talking to some punters in the crowd and a lot of people seem very keen to either marry you or have your babies. Oh, wow. Well, hopefully I have a say in this, but no, look, I think maybe they should um, approach me about this because I haven't heard anything yet. Speaking of love and marriage, though, do, there do seem to be a lot of lovers in your crowd, like people canoodling and kissing. It's just really cute. Have you ever considered perhaps having a Lisa Mitchell perfect match style thing going on? Like a, um, a TV show during my set? Yeah. Um, match people up. Like, you look cute. You look cute. You're alone. You're alone. Let's have some love happening. That's quite a good idea, actually. Maybe um, between songs we could have a bit of a, you know... I don't know, like a, maybe a, you know, bachelor number one. Please enter the side of stage. And they can't see each other because they're on the other side of the stage. So it just goes on like with their music taste and I don't know. <laughs> maybe you could test you out there kissing, who knows. Ooh, kissing booth. Kissing booth. With Lisa Mitchell here on Falls TV. Thanks for watching. Thanks very much, Lisa. Thanks, Claire. Let's go back to our um, learning. Oh, I know. Amazing. Oh, Chechnya. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Mine's upside down. <laughs>